Guys, good morning. We are down in central Wisconsin for fourth week of turkey season. Uh, down by my buddy Matt's, just pulled in here. Got the truck. Uh, he's waking up, waking up, rolling out of bed. So we're gonna get on the old turkey grind this morning. Spend a couple days. Hopefully not a couple days, but uh, spend a little while trying to get a couple turkeys. We both got tags, so we're gonna get after it this morning and try to find some birds. How's it going this morning? Tired. <laughs> oh, we're on the film. <laughs> oh, God. I gotta clean the beer out and the hats on. <laughs> Some guy that has a place to sit. Yep. Gotta have the spots in the truck, I guess, huh? There. Lights, camera, action, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get after it, huh? Let's do it. Well, we stopped at our first spot and heard what it sounded to be like a very young Jake. <laughs> he couldn't even, he didn't know how to gobble even. It sounded so, horrible. <laughs> so, we know he's there. We're going to go try to find uh, a couple more birds just to try to locate some more. Because since we both have tags, we just kind of want to have a couple options. And uh, we got another spot we're going to go check. It's getting light all fast, but it uh, shouldn't matter. Should be able to locate a bird here this morning. Hopefully get on. Perfect. Let's go get out. been in here <clears throat> about 10 minutes now of course when we get set up the birds stop gobbling oh man haven't heard anything respond to us since we got set up here so we're gonna wait it out just a little while and see if we can uh, get something to come over they're pretty close off to one side so they might have just shut up and if they were start working down the field never know Just heard a shot from a couple parcels away, so someone someone got one this morning. Cranes are squawking, geese are honking, turkeys are not gobbling. Oh man, we'll see what happens. we tried to move down to where we heard more birds and there's definitely birds there there's some deer that we didn't spook but they pushed down into this low spot down below us here there's a little field and then the deer pushed down in there and started freaking out and running through the trees but they didn't blow so they were just like running through the woods weird and then there was a bunch of turkeys with them that they, I don't know if they spooked or what, or we did, I have no idea. But we just watched for sure three of them, two of which looked like bigger birds go running through the woods there. So I'm not sure, we're not sure what to do. <laughs> Never fails. Over. Okay, we'll move on to the next spot. That one hen that we saw a couple.
come to the field, ended up working past where we saw those other birds kind of get spooked out towards. So they worked across this other field behind us and uh, gonna go try to find some other ones. Should have got set up here probably right away this morning. Maybe it would have worked, but get back to the truck, find some more birds. Well, we couldn't get anything going this morning, so we're on our way back out. Try to get set up, uh, kind of where we saw some birds this morning. Where we pretty close to where they roosted this morning actually and uh, it's still pretty warm out like uh, about 90 <laughs> it's a little warm for this time of year but get set up in the woods see if we can get some birds to uh, cooperate it is warm out though those birds probably aren't going to be moving too much but hopefully we're going to catch them kind of coming back to roost that's the plan anyway if not we'll just uh, kind of try to find some stuff for the morning go around and uh call and see if we can locate a few more go give her go try and shoot one here Well, the uh, <clears throat> first spot we set up and our first spot we stopped at called this morning had a couple, well, I think just one, there might have been a Jake with them, but had a had a Tom answer to the owl hoot, um, went in and got set up. He was gobbling quite a bit off the roost. We got pretty close to him, but there's a little river in between us and him. Uh, there was some hens up in the tree with them and uh, they were making a little noise. He kept gobbling. We were trying to, you know, call over here. And then uh, they ended up getting down off the roost. I think some of the hens came onto our side. And then he got down and was immediately farther away. And then all of a sudden there was two hens off to our right side coming behind us in the woods like 10 yards away. I'm not sure where they came from. <clears throat> so now this Tom's wandering completely the other way opposite direction so we might uh, give it a couple minutes and go try to find something else. Are there any birds out of Oh yeah. <laughs> well we just seen the, <laughs> the flock of like five jakes headed to what piece of property that we can hunt so we're gonna try to get in the woods after them is set up <laughs>
I totally missed that first shot. <laughs> That's a double flop drop right there, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, how could that have worked any better? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that freaking stoop, that shell didn't go off right. I don't think my chamber was closed all the way. I probably bumped it. Oh. Jesus. That works. <laughs> <laughs> we called that a twerk out, huh? Holy cow. God, the hearing's gone in my right ear. <laughs> oh, man. How awesome is that, though? Be able to double up? Even though they're jakes, man. <laughs> Biggest thing is, I mean, you don't get much time to hunt sometimes, and you just got to take your opportunities and double up on jakes. That's pretty awesome. First time we've ever doubled up. Yeah. <laughs> they got some nice white heads though. Yeah. Little double beards. beards. Oh yeah, he does have a double beard. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm gonna go take a look at mine. Oh yeah. Little oh, beards on them. Too. Yeah, that's not bad though. Oh. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yes. Good thing we came driving down the road. No kidding, man. That's so awesome. <laughs> they came running right into that Jake decoy. I, yeah, I seen him coming right behind uh, me here through the woods. I seen the one just kind of moving his way through, and I'm like, oh, yeah, they come, here they come. And they literally got to, out into the field, and all five of them just beelined it for this Jake decoy. That's crazy, <laughs> man. That is so awesome. <laughs> oh, man. It's just awesome when it works out, you know? Yeah, it it takes it five out. minutes. Yeah. It, if a turkey hunt works out, how it's supposed to, it literally will take five minutes. minutes. No, we, uh, what'd I say? I like, it's going to take two minutes before when we sit down, those birds are going to be I over. I pulled here. my phone out and got halfway through reading, reading an Instagram post. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, man, that's so awesome. And with that, guys, is two successfully punched Central Wisconsin tags for fourth season. Couldn't ask for anything better than that. It's Couple, couple birds for the freezer, some fresh turkey, a couple filled tags. So, got that out of the way. Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> nope. All right, thanks for watching the video, guys. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and we'll see you on the next one.